what's good you guys welcome to the video and in this video we will be learning about what is instance based learning and what is model based learning so without further ado let's get into the video So before starting the video, I would like to thank you all because we have crossed the single digit barrier and now we are in the double digit games and I'm very excited about it. And I know I'm confident that with your love and support and my videos, we will be hitting that century mark soon. So do subscribe the uh, channel, like the video and share it with your machine learning communities that would be pretty great for all of us and we can just make this community more stronger and bigger every day so now let's get into the topic so we until now we have uh, classified machine learning on the basis of human supervision and on the basis of whether our system can learn incrementally or not but now we are going to classify it on the classify the learning or the model on the basis of how it generalizes or predicts things so on the basis of that it is divided into two types first one is instance based learning second one is model based learning so first we will know what is instance based learning so let's see what it is so a model is called instance based when it learns from the data by heart and generalizes or predicts on the basis of a similar measure or similar feature that is found occurring in all over the data or some part of the data right so it is also called memory based learning or lazy learning because it does not calculate anything it just goes to the data and sees okay is this thing occurring in all of it so okay this is a like compatible feature that i can take into consideration and on the basis of that i will be uh, classifying or you know giving the output or predicting right so for better understanding let me give an example so for example if we have a spam classifier trained on the instance based learning algorithm okay so what it will do is it may see that okay it may see so we have provided it a label data of spam email so it will read through that and see okay these are the words that are occurring in the spam email so this is a like compatible thing that i can take into consideration so when we give you give give it a new data it sees it searches for these words that are occurring in the real spam emails and if they are found it tells tells us that okay this is a spam email right so this is how it generalizes that so it uses a feature so it is kind of not efficient and also one of its big disadvantages is that it takes a lot of memory because we can't afford to discard data with it because it needs data to see things to compare things and predict it so we so that's one of the major disadvantages of using a instance based learning algorithm and an example of instance based learning algorithm is knn which is short form of uh, k nearest neighbor algorithm in this algorithm what it does is it does not go through the whole data it, but it uh, compares the new data with some neighboring data right so that's why it's uh, neighbor is in its name so literally yeah so it compares it with the neighboring data with some similarity feature and then tells us right i hope you understood that now we will see what is a model based learning so let's get into that so what is model based learning so it is kind of technical and mathematical right and we are not diving deep into the math in this video so i'll try to explain you as you know as simply as possible theoretically so uh, um, a mo in a model based learning we create a model which has some parameters that it has learned from the data right so now you will be thinking like okay what is a model what is a parameter so basically uh, simply if i'll say a model you can imagine you don't imagine it is so it is a equation or a function right and which has a variable that we call parameter which is denoted as the theta theta variable like you remember in the angles we use theta that theta so we optimize that theta when we train the data right so at last we will have the model or the equation with theta in it and also a variable called x which is our input variable so when we put the new test data into the x and we have our optimized theta we get an output or the prediction 
so that's how a model based learning generalizes things so it's purely mathematical and i will be explaining all this into the mathematics things when i'll have the full access to this board because you must be seeing like there's a table there's a monitor there and i don't have access to it so because this house is like kind of small okay but in some months we may be moving so when i get full access to this board i'll be explaining like the whole mathematical thing of uh, like all the algorithms linear regression gradient descent so for all of that and more do subscribe the channel like the video and share it with your friends and that's it for today and uh, just keep doing what you love and have a great day